Welcome Kogita customers to this video. I'm going to be going over some of the changes that we've implemented on Kogita as well as stuff that you should look out for. Now if we go to our catalog, we can already see that there's no more hot deals option and I'm going to go a bit into why that is in a second. Let's take this Afnan 9pm as an example. When we click on the product, we can see that it's a bit different to how it was in the old model. Now, instead of showing how many suppliers are offering this product as well as how many units are available in total for Afnan, we can see all the suppliers, each unit price per supplier, we can see how much each supplier has in stock of this 9 p.m., and we can see minimum order value requirements per supplier. Something to note is that every supplier that offers Marketplace Invoice will have a little box with a queue next to their supplier number. Some things have stayed the same, such as if we go down, we'll still be able to see the price chart, namely the price history since December for this Afnan 9 p.m. And we can still create price alerts from this chart as in the old model. So we could say, I only want this product when it's 17 euros. I want at least 10 units. And when we do this, we're telling Kogita system that we want price alerts for this product. As in the old model, we can see that all the products for which we have created a price and stock alert will show here in the watch list. Something else to note is that as in the old model, we can also still download this template, fill out the GTINs for the products that we'd like, as well as the target stock, and we can upload this to our cart. Now let's simulate a purchase with this Afnan 9 p.m. Let's add one item of this Afnan. As we can see, the first thing that this does is this adds it to our cart. And from this product page, we can already see that we're 18 euros out of the 600 for minimum order value. When we go to the cart, we'll also see some important things. We can see the supplier number. We can see how much our current cart is worth. We can also see if the supplier has marketplace invoice available. And we can see minimum order values how much is remaining, and the percentage completed. That's been it for this video. If there's any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to our support team and we'll assist you further. Thank you very much.